Hi all, welcome to the video lecturing series of data mining and warehousing. Today in this video we will discuss about the text mining and we will discuss clearly about term frequency and inverse document frequency. We will move on to the video. Normally a text mining is nothing but it is text analysis. It is the process of transforming unstructured data into meaningful and actionable information. So the text mining will utilize different technologies to automatically process the data and generate available meaning that will help us for business purpose and for education purpose like different purposes we are using. Normally we will mine the information from a text database. So a text database is normally it will be enormous or huge amount of data will be there because it will be storing the data from different sources like news articles, research papers, books, digital libraries, emails. So, so many sources are there. So the text database will be large. From this large amount of data, we have to mine useful information. So we will mine the text database to get a useful information in the case of text mining. Normally, this text databases are growing exponentially because uh, from different sources it is storing the data and data is everywhere nowadays. So the text databases are growing very fast. So from this enormous amount of data, we have to mine useful information. This is what we are doing in text mining. So this text mining is very important in nowadays because a large or huge amount of data is existing in this world now. Okay. So normally the text databases are semi-structured because as it is not completely structured or completely unstructured. It is normally a semi-structured data are stored in the case of uh, text databases like for example uh, if we are storing title name, author name and all it will be in a structured format or other contents like abstract or index, uh, abstract and contents of a book, all those will be in a unstructured format. So normally text databases will be semi-structured and from that semi-structured database we will retrieve information. So information retrieval techniques like indexing methods will be used in the case of uh, unstructured document to retrieve the data. So this is the a formal introduction about the text to mining concept. So we will analyze the data and we will mine something useful for us. So the main challenge in the case of text to mining is this. From this diagram what you can understand is like the a text all document means this is the entire database. Entire data text database from that what we will do we have to retrieve something useful right. So we will retrieve some data that is uh, represented as retrieved document. Another is from all the documents some will be relevant only as per our requirement. So uh, retrieved data document will be there as well as the relevant document will be there. So text mining will help us to retrieve the data which are relevant. This is what the text mining will do. A small fraction of many available document will be relevant to our customer use only a few percentage of data will be only relevant as per our requirement. So text mining will help us to retrieve these kind of data that is retrie retrieve data datas which are relevant as per our requirement or as per the individual requirement. This is the main challenge and of text mining because whatever we are mining by using the text mining technologies that should be relevant to the individual user. Okay, for making it relevant, we have to consider some measures. How we can measure the data is relevant or not? For that, we are using some measures. Measures of text retrieval are precision and record. These are the two main measures of text retrieval. First, we will discuss about precision. What is mean by precision? Normally we will call a precise document. What does it mean? That means it is more accurate or more uh, more relevant, more useful to us. That is known as precision. So precision is nothing but this is the percentage of retrieved document 
that are in fact relevant to the query that means that is the correct response whatever querying we are giving the correct response we are getting we will call it as a precision how to find precision we are retrieving and from the retrieved document only few are relevant so relevant in the section retrieved divided by retrieved out of the retrieved document how many are relevant that is known as precision next measure is uh, recall so recall is nothing but this is the percentage of document that are relevant to the query and were in fact retrieved so out of the retrieved document relevant di divided by uh, relevant in the section retrieved divided by relevant the, this is the formal uh, definition for recall so what about precision precision here in precision in the case of precision it, it is we are considering retrieved right in case of uh, recall we are considering relevant out of relevant document the intersection of re relevant and retrieved is done in, the done in the case of recall and out of retrieved document relevant in intersection retrieved is done in the case of precision so these are the two measures of text retrieval okay now we will move on to the next one normally we will find the harmonic mean of the recall and precision we are calling it as f score f score is nothing but recall into precision divided by recall plus precision by 2 this is the formal definition for recall and uh, f score this is the harmonic mean of uh, recall and precision okay so next is a text retrieval method in text mining for text retrieval we are using mainly two method one is document selection another is document ranking these are the main methods that we are using in the case of text retrieval what the text retrieval will do retrieving the document whatever document we are required we are we as the useful document for us we will retrieve all those document for that we will consider these two method either a document selection method or a document ranking method now we will see each one in detail in case of document selection method we are using a model called boolean retrieval model in the case of document selection method what the boolean retrieval will do this in the case of boolean retrieval system will give a boolean query and return the document that satisfy the boolean expression for example some expressions like car and repair shops this is a boolean expression and another is like tea or coffee these kind of queries boolean query we will give we will search and we will get the document which is satisfying these boolean queries that is the document selection method like we will give some queries boolean queries and the document which is satisfying that particular query boolean query will be returned the main problem with this method is it is very difficult to prescribe users information with a boolean query that is the main disadvantage of this document selection method okay now in the case of document ranking method uh, we will use the query to rank all the document in the order of relevance so for ranking we can use different methods like um, mathematical equations mathematical foundations like algebra logic probability statistics etc can be used for document ranking as per the document ranking we will give the relevant document like if it is more relevant it should be given the rank first second like that so on so modern information retrieval uses a ranked list of document in response to users keyword query while comparing to uh, document selection methods this is more easy to use because if we are giving the query as per that query we will rank the document if it is more relevant it is it will be given the first rank okay so different ranking methods can be used that is uh, while the doing the implementation we can do that next is uh, while doing the token previously we discussed about which are the methods for document retrieval now we will discuss what are the main process involved in the case of text retrieval process in the case of text retrieval we have to do tokenization and removing the stop words and do the stemming or finding the word stem so what is meant by this tokenization 
if we are given with a sentence we have to make it small small token we have to identify that if you are given if you are given uh, like uh, welcome to welcome to data mining so in that case we will tokenize each word welcome to data mining so we will tokenize these two small small words right after that we have to remove the stop words which are the top uh, stop words stop words are like uh, in a document you can find a um, some uh, some of the text like some of the text like a the of for this kind of supporting words we can see and the, those removal of that word is important because these words will be many in the in a document so we have to because these words are not adding any meaning right so we have to remove the stop words while doing the text retrieval so after doing the removal of stop words we have to find we have to do the stemming what is mean by the stemming uh, find the word stem for example if we are giving some words like uh, gift if i i'll write one word gift for this word there will be different variations like uh, you can write gifts or gifted gifting so all these are variations of the word gift so while doing the word stem we will find from all these variations we will find the root word right gifted gifting from all those uh, variations gift is the root word stem so we have to find the word stem for doing the text retrieval purpose like tokenize first we have to tokenize about the root uh, stop words and find the word stem to do the text retrieval right okay so in the case of text retrieval or information retrieval model important one of the important model is a vector space model in case of vector space model uh, the main concept behind this vector space model is we we'll start with a document d and set of terms t we will start with a document d and we are searching for a t terms we can model each document as a vector in a dimension space of r raised to t this is the major concept behind the vector space model i'll tell you in detail so in vector space model we will consider two important term one is term frequency another is inverse document frequency so out of these two terms we can find how many times a particular word is occurring and according to that we can find the relevance right okay first we will see about uh, term frequency okay in case of term frequency you can see an equation like term frequency is the number of occurrence of a term t in the document d for example there are different document uh, in that we are considering a document d in that a particular term t is how many times it is occurring that is known as the frequency of that term so if the frequency like if if that particular term is not occurring that in that document we will tell frequency of d comma t is zero then tf of d comma t is zero that means that particular term is not occurring in the document then its frequency is zero otherwise if it is occurring we will find the occurrence by using the equation 1 plus log of 1 plus log of frequency of d comma t that means in the bigger size document we have to uh, normalize it we have to find the normalize the occurrence of that particular uh, term frequency for that we will find 1 plus log of 1 plus log of frequency of d comma t so term frequency is nothing but how many time the a particular term is occurring in the document that is known as term frequency now the next is next term next concept is inverse document frequency actually this inverse document frequency is nothing but it is a scaling factor that means uh, in some particular document some words will be uh, occurring very commonly some words will be occur common across a document that may be contribute 
very little in deciding the meaning of it. For example, the term frequency of some words like the, a, in, of. So, all these words will be occurring many times. So, etc. These all words will be suppress the weight of more meaningful words because this will be occurring many times. So, important words may, uh, occurrence will be suppressed because of this. So, we have to reduce this effect for that we will find the inverse document frequency. Actually, the inverse document frequency is nothing but the log of total number of document divided by number of document containing that particular word. So, for that we will use the equation log of 1 plus mod d by d of t that is the inverse document frequency. This will scale down the reduced discriminative power of some words which is occurring more frequently that may be uh, that is not adding any meaning or uh, that is not helping us to uh, that is not very important in that document. So, in order to suppress that effect we will find the inverse document frequency ok. So, for that we will find the log of total number of documents that is 1 plus d by mod of d dt clear ok. Now, next is tf and idf measure normally uh, after finding the term frequency and inverse document frequency we will find tf and idf measure as a result we have a vector representation which will give a high value for a given term if that if that occurs often in that particular document uh, we will find uh, tf bar idf and this equation is tf of d d comma t into idf of t that is the equation for finding the term frequency and inverse document frequency ok. So, that is all about the concept of term frequency and inverse document frequency in text mining. Thank you.